Okay, so the song is in drop D. So, just low E string down, the whole stuff. And um, the basic picking pattern. Um, the bass notes, this is an easy way to think of this, the bass notes are just going to be like 5th string, 4th string, 6th string, 4th string. And that just goes throughout the entire song, and then basically you're just changing up your chord shapes, but that bass pattern stays the same, as does the melody pattern. The melody pattern is, along with that first bass note on the fifth string, you're going to play the first string with your third finger on your right hand, okay, so, and then you're going to play the fourth string, then the third string with your first finger. Sixth string with your thumb. So now the second string with your second finger, and the fourth string finally with your thumb. Okay, so it's the fifth string and first string. Fourth string with your thumb. Third string with your first finger. Sixth string with your thumb. Second string with your second finger on your right hand and then the bass note on the fourth string to finish. chord shapes. Um, you're going to go up to the uh, the twelfth fret on the second string and hold down the B with your first finger and you're going to hold down the third string at the fourteenth fret with your second finger the note A and then you're going to hold down the F sharp which is the fourteenth fret on the first string with your third finger. And it gives you this little kind of like D6 shape. Okay, so that's the first chord shape. Slide this whole shape back two frets now. Okay. Okay. Remove your uh, third finger now and slide your first finger back a fret. So your first finger is on the 11th fret of the third string. And now bar across the top two strings at the 10th fret with your first finger. So you get a little D shape. Slide this shape back two frets now. A little C triad. Okay, so. Here, which looks like a D chord shape, except you're playing at the um, seventh fret with your first finger on the third string, seventh fret on the first string with your second finger, and the eighth fret on the second string with your third finger. Okay. Now back to an A triad. Bar across the fifth fret of the first two strings with your first finger and then hold down the 6th fret with your 2nd finger on the 3rd string. Slide this shape, uh, uh, sorry, actually it's going to be a different shape. You're going to go down to the 3rd uh, uh, fret of the 1st string, the note G with your 1st finger, and then you're going to hold down the 5th uh, uh, fret of the 2nd string with your 3rd finger, the E note. And then you're going to hold down the 5th fret of the 3rd string with your 2nd finger. Okay. And you can play that shape twice. Okay. Alright, so that all sounds like this.
down to D chord. Here's the main verse pattern. Um, so you start off with a regular D shape. Let's go over the shapes uh, without the picking pattern. So regular old D chord. Lift your second finger then for the next chord and bring it up to the note C on the fifth string. You're going to bar across the, the uh, second fret um, with your first finger to still hold down the D shape while, the, while you've got this note here on the third fret of the uh, fifth string. So in other words, still got your D chord here and then C in the bass. Next one looks like this. Okay, so it's second fret of the fifth string. Then you play the fourth and third open. Then you're holding down the third fret on the second string. D note with your third finger. And on the first string, you're holding down the second fret with this uh, with your second finger. Okay, and then just slide your first finger back one fret. So, um, D, D over C. So, G major 7 over B. G major 7 over B flat. Like Okay, so the B section is like this. And you're just back to the first pattern. So the chords in the B section chord shapes are just a D, a G triad, bar across the third fret with your first finger, the top two strings, and then play the uh, fourth fret on the G string, third string with your second finger. Slide up two frets to the A shape, back two frets to the G. Next chords are an F, an A flat, a full G shape, back to the D. When I say full, I'm actually not playing the bass notes. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on in the recording in this part, but I assume it's something like what I'm doing. You can't really play the D bass note with the A flat chord. It won't sound good, so I just kind of I switch the pattern up and I just switch the bass between the, the fifth and the fourth string in this part and do this. And I don't really play like a like a low root bass note on these chords. Just back to the straight first pattern. Alright.